video let's get into that if you haven't seen it go check it out um like I was reflecting and I was thinking like dang like I used to see people posting videos online and they would be like crying and like people would be telling their business online and I used to be like that would never be me or why do people why do people do that like I'll be like so judgmental um, I remember I used to say when girls used to like talk about getting abused, I used to say that would, would never be me or it couldn't be me, but it happened to me and I kept going back. So I say this to say, if you're watching something and it doesn't resonate with you, it's not for you. So just bypass it and go on to the next because everyone heals differently like when I started this channel I started it for like the lifestyle journey the just like the everyday life like I had no idea I had no idea I'll be going through a spiritual journey as well and I'm human I get emotional and if I'm doing a video and I'm getting emotional and I'm crying then I'm gonna post it like it's with someone out there obviously and if it doesn't resonate with you then it's obviously not for you so I'm like I'm doing a lot of self-development and I'm learning a lot about me and a lot about just like just like being more compassionate and being more and not being judgmental because everyone is going through something and you just never know who it might help but anyway off that I just felt like I needed to say that because I've been on the other side of the screen and I used to be like why do people do this like I, it, I didn't get it but now that I'm actually going through the process like I understand it like it it hit me so hard yesterday I was like oh my god like I can't believe I actually post that I can't believe I was crying on camera and then proceeded to edit and post it it was crazy but I was feeling super emotional like um like my connection with God has been getting stronger and I've just been it's just been a journey so I hope you guys are enjoying the journey if not then this is obviously not for you so yeah, huh? Hey. All right, so right now we are on our way to go support the Bulls. Go Bulls! <laughs> we are on our way to Caesar's Friend basketball game. Train! In 3.9 miles, keep right to merge onto Hampton Boulevard. So we're going to take you on the ride for that. And what else do I have? I do have to prepare for a photo shoot tomorrow, so I have to do that. I don't know if I'm be able to edit this tonight. Hopefully, I do have time so I can get this upload. And then I do have my nail video, my nail video that I'm working on that I need to up upload. And there's another video that I need to. There's just so many videos that I have recorded that I haven't even uploaded yet. And I feel like now, like I've been sitting on this for a while. I feel like now is the perfect time to do my about me video because I've been writing down like a bunch of stuff and there's so much more to add to it and now I feel ready and I feel compelled to do this about me video so we're on our way to the game if you guys are interested in seeing day in the life keep watching if not I have oh somebody just sent me some money via cash app lord <laughs> Have other videos for you to check out so if this one doesn't sit with you go check them other videos out and don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your post notification while you are here see you in a little bit oh god bye
hey y'all so i didn't forget to finish yes well not finish because i know i wanted to tie it into today's um vlog but um last night i was up until like maybe 3 a.m breaking on like some candy coated pretzels marshmallows and um strawberries to the event so I'm gonna show you guys that when we get there because I didn't get I didn't not that I didn't get to take any I didn't take any I didn't think to take any last night. So hopefully I'll be able to get there in time to see this setup because I am super super duper late. And that's because I woke up at, I wanted to wake up at seven. Like I don't set alarms anymore. Like I just put it out into the universe the time that I wanted to wake up, that I want to wake up, and my body like literally wakes up. But um last night I said seven, and I guess I was too tired, so my body wasn't up until eight, like a little bit after eight. So and then I had to make my skirt, so I did that. Like I don't even use alarm clocks anymore because it, it gives me serious anxieties and it just like I don't use alarms anymore because I don't like the feeling that it gives me when I when it like startles me and I wake up so I stop using alarms I just literally put it out into the universe the time that I want to wake up and my body like wakes up around that time or maybe like an hour before so I wish I would have gotten ready earlier event earlier but you know learning that everything happens for a reason and I shouldn't stress it this is the time I'm supposed to get there all right y'all so stay tuned if you guys want to go along with me to this event thank you <laughs> Hey guys, so I am here. It looks amazing in here, guys. Wait, let me start from the, let me start from the front. All right. Did she make these cupcakes? She did. That's good. Just only chocolate? I told her I don't like chocolate. What's wrong with her? Talk, not talking about the event, but um, like the ladies there that I met. 
um, we were talking about just life in general and and things that's going on, things that we have been able to, or things that they have been able to like be strong and get through and I was really empowered. Um, man, I wish I would have. I wish I would have captured everything. But unfortunately, I didn't. Like, it was my first time ever feeling comfortable talking in front of in front of um, a crowd. Like, yeah, like it was like my breakthrough. Mari. Only one person talking, and that's me. Okay. I'm going to steal the clip because I think um, Jay was live, Christina's husband. I think he was live. Stop that for a little bit. I think he was live, so I'm going to see if I can screen record it and play it for you guys to see. I mean, I did kind of fumble over my words a little bit, but at least I was finally in front of a crowd and I was able to speak without feeling like it's like I was about to have like an anxiety oh, attack yeah, and I was baby. saying like a lot too. I realized I say like a lot. I'll cut that out. I'll try to figure out how to cut that out. But um, I'm so happy I went. So happy I went. I got some great advice. Mom. Hmm? Mm -hmm. But um, like I was I said before, growing up, I grew up in the church and I would always go to church and the connection wasn't there and I realized it's because I wasn't paying attention. Like I wasn't plugged in like I should have been. And literally this just happened to me this month where the connection started making sense. Because I would hear people saying, God has been speaking to me. And I'm like, well, why isn't he talking to me? Like, why, I'm going to church, I'm paying my tithes, like, what's going on? Why, yeah, like, what voices are you guys hearing? Because I'm not hearing it, I'm not seeing it. Like, I feel like that presence, I feel like, but what's going on? Like, I feel like I'm being overlooked. And um, literally, I don't want to make this long, but um, the other night I was home. And this is the first time the connection happened to me, and I swear to God. And um, I was home, and I, I was looking at the uh, the back window, and I saw like three stars. It created the shape of a triangle. I went up, like it didn't make any sense to me because I just went there, look, and like look up and saw the three stars. I go upstairs to my husband now. <laughs> and I'm like, babe, like, look out the window and tell me what you see. He looks out and he's like, nothing. And he's like, I'm like, what do you see? He's like, what? And that's how I've been going to church. Like, what? Like, I'm not connected. So I, I don't see anything. I'm not hearing anything. So I'm like, look again. Like, I'll push that. Like, look again. What do you see? Because I'm like, could I be the only one seeing this? Like, am I seeing things now? So um, he looked again and he he saw the, the three stars and I'm like, that's what I thought. I go into the bathroom to go take a shower. I get out as I'm trying myself, he's watch, he's watching TV. And as I'm trying myself, he go, bang! And I'm like, it's scared because we have a we have a two-year-old and six years old. I'm thinking my two-year-old the guy's like, because he's doing like getting into everything. So I run out and like, what? He's like, look. I look at the TV and the actress is wearing a star shaped earring. Not a star, I'm sorry, a triangle shaped earring. So then I'm like, this must be the sign people are talking about. I just wasn't paying attention. So then I got on Google and I'm like, do my research. I'm like, what does this mean? Like, I've been seeing a triangle shape three times. I mean, I'm sorry, two times. Like, what does it mean? And it's, it like, the I looked up the spiritual meaning. It was, I think it was aligning into like everything that I should be doing. Two days after now, I set up an appointment with my mentor. I don't know if you guys know um, Jovita. Yeah. I set up an appointment with her and and I've been to her office before, but of course my whole life I've been like, what? Like I'm not paying attention. I'm not plugged in. I'm not connected. I've got back into praying. I'm plugged in. So God is like, he's speaking to me now. So I go to her office. Well, firstly, I was supposed to be here this week. I was supposed to be in a different state. I was planning on moving. And 
I wanted to go to her to get signed up for the university that she had. Like, I wanted to get plugged in so that I could stay connected while I was away. I'm like, can we do this over the phone? Like, why do I have to come in? She's like, I have to come in. I'm like, oh, why? Like, let's just do this over the phone, please. So um, I go into her office and we get to talking and we didn't even do exactly what my intentions were for us to do. She begins to talk about her her journey. And when I say everything connected, it was insane. I t and like she said something and then I turned around and looked at her wall and it was, guess what she had on her wall? Triangles. Wow. When I said I started doing the ugliest cry ever, she was saying like, what's going on? And then I told the same story I'm telling you guys. I'm like, this is the third time and the number three has been like in my spirit. And I'm like, this is what they, what people are saying when they say God is talking to them. Because initially I thought it was a voice. I'm like, why can't I get this voice? Like, am I not quiet enough? But it's just that I wasn't plugged in. You have to stay in prayer. Like, you have to stay in faith. Or else you will miss it. You will miss it. I can't believe that happened to me. So it's like, like I'm, okay, I'm speaking now and normally, like, this is not my thing. I would, like, I would be like, no, thank you. Just pass it to the next person. video tell me that tell me what you guys think of my skirt I'm obsessed with it everyone loved it um yeah thank you are you giving it to me just natural for me thank you I can't have it say bye bye say peace say bye bye say bye 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 guys bye What's wrong? What's wrong with my son? Let me go figure out what's wrong with my son. Bye!